What I'd like to do is have an actual conversation about where we're at today. No one knows what's going to happen tomorrow. No one even knows what's going to happen by this evening. So what does that mean for you in the market as a buyer or even potentially as a seller? We need to understand what it is that you want to achieve and how you want to achieve it. Because now more than ever, you need to be crystal clear on what it is your goals are and how to get there. So as an agent, our responsibility is to give you the right information and at the right time. So right now, to sellers, most of my sellers are putting things on hold. We really want to wait and see how this, this unfolds, what effect it has. The market is changing. I mean, it's changing daily. The way of doing business is changing. I'm not here to tell you to wash your hands and how we're going to do inspections. What I'm here to do is to tell you that if you are a buyer in the market, that's okay. You just need to understand the parameters of what we're working with and we'll help you work to it. If you're a seller in the market, now that's a different thing. Because despite the market, GFC, pandemic, good market, bad market, properties always transact. So what that actually means to you is you need to really decide what your crystal clear views are and then align yourself with an agent or an agency who understands that and who is going to help you work through what you're looking to do. So the advice that I would give you is that it comes down to your circumstances. Some people are going to want to sell now. Some people have sold. Some people are looking to buy. Property is still going to transact. But let's not make light of the fact that people are losing their jobs. The whole world as we know it is changing and we can't just forget about that. So in terms of the way that we actually do business now, I think it's changed. Right now I'm no longer doing auctions. I think as a seller, the whole concept of an auction is to put a time pressure on it, to build an emotional connection with the property and to bring it to a head. You can't do that clicking behind a mouse pad on a keyboard. You just simply can't do that. What you need to do is make sure that your property is priced appropriately and give a price guide. I believe in transparency, always have. Most of my properties do have a price guide or if they don't and they're an expression of interest, then I give a price guide to people. But you need to be able to be prepared that you have to take the right price. You can't just go out there and wish for the best thing at the moment. We will get through this. The market will only last for so long like this and then we'll come out the other side. Are we going to see drops? Are we going to see rises? Who knows? No one knows that. What we can deal with is what we're dealing with now. The difference between stock and houses is that people need to live in houses. Stock is done purely for profit. So if you take that into account, we still got to live somewhere. So again, property will always buy and sell. It's just a matter of the timing, motivation, and how you do it. It's not all doom and gloom. I mean, we've got properties at the moment which are sitting on the market and we're receiving offers and we're negotiating. And they're high-end properties, and that will continue to happen. But in this time, all I can assure you is that we'll do our best that we can, and we really hope that you support local.